What are the events that shape our lives and the choices we make from which there is no turning back? For me, there were frightening world events that happened. And there were the deaths of my beloved grandfather, Emilio, and then my father, and then others close to me. I chose to go on a journey taking me far back in time and taking me to the ancient and turbulent country of Mexico, where my grandparents are from, where my blood is from. I needed to reconnect with the roots of my ancestors, especially my grandfather, Emilio, the one I always called Tata. Tata had always been so important to me, yet I realized I didn't know important things about him, especially in his early life. There were so many questions that needed answers. He was a minister in every sense of the word. Memories of him are very vivid to me. He was a very humble man, so dedicated. I, he, he was one of a kind. He was fearless. That's one thing that I remember because there were many episodes where it was scary. None of us knew that he was an apostle. He never told us he went to Yale or Berkeley or you know, anything that he had accomplished. He was just humble. He was just representing the Lord. You know, I would say that he was like a model of what Jesus would be. I needed to know how he came to live on a hacienda owned by the family named the Guerreros. They let him stay and work there for 10 years as a shepherd after he ran away from home at age five. And I needed to learn how he became friends with Proxidus Guerrero one of the younger sons of the hacienda owners. Proxidus was a brilliant young writer and revolutionary who changed the course of Tata's life and changed the course of history. estuvo al lado de los hermanos Flores Magú y nos obliga más a los leoneses en investigar los antecedentes de la causa que, que inició y que siguió hasta su fallecimiento. I knew they fled across the border into the United States together with other young friends. But why did they have to leave Mexico? Who was after them? And what were their plans? And what happened to them once they came to the United States? He was certainly hunted all over the American Southwest. It's just that he, he through his own initiative and his own ability, took over the movement and kept it going. And, uh, and, and it was not easy because he was constantly being chased by state authorities, by federal authorities, by private detectives, agents hired by uh, Mexico. Revolution. I needed to find out. Revolution. They had made a decision, Revolution. a decision that changed everything for them, and there was no going back. Oh, Dios. Get 
On this journey, the questions kept multiplying. What made Tata descend into a hell of his own making? How did he turn his life around? Who was there to help him? I found the answers at last. His redemption and mine. Coming down here is, is a way of breaking up. It's a way of, of bringing him back a little bit. I came to see that everything my grandfather had experienced changed him and made him into the great man he became. And what I learned on this journey of discovery changed me too. And there was no going back.